This is the grill for my 1916 Edison uh, diamond disc phonograph. It's in pretty good shape, but it's missing the grill cloth. When I got it, it actually had been recovered um, in a kind of a brownish, pinkish um, grill cloth. It was a silk material. It was absolutely the right material, but I hate it. I hate the color, and uh, I just don't like the silky appearance. It doesn't do it for me. So I went out and I bought this stuff. This is a little bit thicker, which is not a good thing, but... <laughs> It's the right color and it has the texture I'm looking for. But you can still see through it, so sound will still pass through it, just not as well. Um, I mean, you can always redo it again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover the grill. And we're going to do it by taping the stuff down to this glass table. So I've got my tape ready. What I want to do is tape it down to the t down to the glass table fairly tight. Don't worry, we've already cut the cloth to be larger than it needs to be, uh, much larger than it needs to be. And the name of the game here is to just get all the wrinkles out of it as best we can. And the surface has to be absolutely flat to do this. So that's why I'm glad I have this glass uh, video game table for that very reason. Now if I could just find the end of this tape. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I'm going to uh, pull it tight here and here. It's much easier if you have eight hands, which I do not have. But I've already ironed the cloth, so the wrinkles are pretty much out of it. Um, you know, so that's not really a big deal. Now before I attach it to the grill, I'm going to actually clean it with a, a roller to get all the lint and loose fibers out of it. Now in this case uh, I'm going against the uh, the golden rule of keeping it as original as possible. Whoever recovered the cloth before me tried to keep it relatively original and use something that was you know period correct and uh, you know close to what would have been used originally. So, the problem again, like I said earlier, is I hated it. I, I, I just, I couldn't even stand to look at it. It was, it just looked bad. It looked old and depressing and dark, and I'm like, not having it, man. It's not me. It's not me, man. It's a piece of furniture. It's got to look good in the home. But it also has to sound good. I get that, too. Alright, so I've got to i got a wrinkle here that I need to pull out, so I'm going to loosen up this tape here and drag it in this direction to get that out. Then we're going to pull this one here and pull it in this direction. Oh, oh, and there's also more to it. Whoever did it uh, previously uh, they didn't do a very good job. There were wrinkles in the fabric. It was loose. They used the wrong glue. I mean, it's just, you know, it just wasn't, it just wasn't pretty. It wasn't a pretty picture. So the wrinkles are gone. Now we're going to take our, um, now we're going to take our roller. Go, oh, I got a wrinkle here. I got to get that out. Okay, here we go. So you want to get any dust, fibers, loose, anything out of the uh, fabric, and this is how we're going to do it. This is double-sided fabric, so um, it doesn't matter which side we use. I'm going 
did all that. I'll do it again. There's a couple of different ways you can recover a grill. This is just one of the many. This is um, not unlike the way I did the uh, Philco uh, radio. It's still all different, but it's, it's close. It's close enough. Anyway, get all that loose lint and fibers and God knows what else out of there. I see a thread here. Okay. So let's take the uh, grill and put it over top and see how it looks. I love it. I really do. Okay. Next. We should probably scrape off all this old glue. Looks like they used a, I want to say a spray adhesive. Um, but, you know, I don't know of a good way to do that without ruining the finish. And like I said, if it looks bad, I can always do it over again. I have enough uh, material to do it twice. So what I'm going to do is get my Aileen's Tacky Glue. And just put a put it everywhere. It's gonna go all over the entire grill. Like I said, we really should get the old glue off. Um, I thought about sanding it with a power sander uh, or a vibratory sander, but I decided against it for obvious reasons. If I do it by hand, it's just going to clog the sanding uh, pads up. Okay, now that we've got the glue on the grill, it's time for us to spread it around with a paintbrush. And we're going to put some weights on top of it. I'm going to put, um, I'm going to actually put a laptop on top of it, I think. Give it some weight. This is just to prevent it from, you know, going on too thick uh, in a concentrated area, which would cause the glue to bleed right through the fabric. What I like about Aileen's glue is it dries relatively quickly. Um, although this tedious stuff here could potentially cause it to dry even faster. And while we're working on it, which we don't want, but we want the glue spread out nicely. It's also water soluble too. Easy cleanup. So if it gets somewhere where we don't want it, we can just get it right off. So, and I don't know. pay extra attention to the edges. That's where it's most likely going to come off or start lifting if things don't go right. I'm going to put some more on that edge right there. It's a little thin. Come on, come on. Yeah, I want to get more on this edge here. And I think it dries clear. Actually, it does dry clear. I know that for a fact. Okay. 
So now we're going to put it directly onto the fabric and press down nicely. We also want to make sure that the fabric is on straight. Um, we don't want it to be crooked. It's already sticking to the fabric. Um, one thing I noticed about the previous uh, grill job <laughs> is that there was actually glue bleeding out like this all over the place. So it wasn't done very cleanly. But it's already taken to the fabric. But I'm gonna I'm gonna put some weight on it anyway, just to make it nice and flat. And I'm gonna use an IBM ThinkPad. No, I have something bigger than that. I need something a little bigger than that. How about this? Crosley Trierdine. <laughs> yeah, that's down flat. The grill has a little bit of a warp to it. That's why I wanted to do that. And maybe something a little flatter than that, maybe. I'll find. Now yeah, that'll do. And that's the completed grill. Okay, now we got to put it on.